بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله a question was asked بارك الله فيك I have a question I lost interest in this dunya not so long ago and decided that I'll give up all my occupations and go in or on a spiritual journey to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, seek knowledge, learn my deen, and purify myself. I'm really struggling with myself to purify it from riya, from hypocrisy, nifaq, from lack of concentration, khushur, in salat. But the problem is that I'm a university, in a university abroad, and my parents want me to graduate and be someone of ja'a, meaning position, which I really don't want. I'm stressed out now for almost three months and don't know if I should listen to my parents or try to convince them. And I don't want society to look down on my parents and tell them that their son is a loser. It'll make them suffer if society does that. And I really don't want my mother to be heartbroken. I really love her. She always believes in me. And even this time she told me that she believes in me, but she's worried about what society will say. Uh, dear brother, please give me some advice on what you think I should, how I should handle the situation. And I cannot continue here in the university because I literally lost interest in it and then my dean is in danger because here it's almost impossible to pray in the mosque five times a day and the system in which my university works is based upon cheating and fitna is everywhere. By the way, I am a Chadian student in China. So, pretty long <clears throat> background and first and foremost we have to understand that I'm going to offer you my advice uh, my sincere advice and this is not a religious fatwa and I am not uh, Ahlan or a person of fatwa so we, we do have to realize that and understand that that means that there is no hukum tied to what I'm going to say that you are obliged to do or that has to do with halal or haram necessarily. So, what I want to say, Ahabatafillah, is Jazakallah khairan for the trust that you trust that I can give you advice and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make me better than what you uh, view me as. And what I want to say is you're dealing with a, a few issues there. My personal advice and experience would say that no doubt it's going to be a difficult struggle. As you said, you lost interest. Uh, and of course, the issues of cheating and fitna, of being in a university and being away. Uh, and of course, I'm sure it's mixed and on and on and etc. And the other hand, you mentioned, you mentioned that your family would be disappointed. <clears throat> with uh, your decision if you were to drop out of the university and that that would cause him great difficulty uh, in the dunya. And so a mu'min in general, you would find that the ulama would say, take the advice, of course, fearing for your religion. And this is utmost and first and foremost is to safeguard your deen. Alongside of that is that what I would say is that, or my advice, is a part of that safeguarding your religion and taking that journey, although it may be, difficulty, it may, may be difficult, is being patient in your situation and continuing forward. That you finish your degree you spend as much time as you can in the company of the believers. Uh, you listen and actually do balance your studies to where you can do some talab al-ilm on the side in order to strengthen your heart. And this, bi-idnillah ta'ala, will be the best of both worlds. Because this rare opportunity that you are already in and the difficulty it may cause your parents and that perhaps they are a support for you, 
that if you can maintain halal, stay away from the muharramat, especially the major sins of zina and so on and so forth, then focus yourself. Because regardless, this is a part of your spiritual journey. The fact that you're trying to study and you're in this seemingly hostile environment for your religion is a part of your spiritual journey. That's making it. That's surviving. And in reality, I think a lot of the youth have a misunderstanding regarding these spiritual journeys and think that you can just stay in the masjid and then that's going to be the end all and growing your spiritual journey. In fact, your spiritual journey is life is in every single situation that you are either forced to be in or that you may be in that you have to strive. And because you're in that situation, you may have to strive even more. So I personally prefer that you do not give up your dunya in totality, this opportunity that you're already there in China you don't know what good Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may have for you, but that you are very cautious and you strive and fight to attain those things like your khushur, like staying away from fitna. If it requires you marry, marry a Chinese girl. If it requires you marry a foreign student, whatever the case may be, so that way that will bring a, a, a major sport, source of comfort in your life if you can do that. Uh, in order to stay away from the Muharramat and to focus, because those kind of things help the youth to focus and help all of us to focus, in fact. And so, uh, my advice is to strive, fight, because that's what you're going to have to do. You don't know what you may, you may drop out of the university, you come back, and you're even in a situation where you have no job, you have no uh, situation, and you're unable to even do that Tafarrag, that separation or that that uh, directing your energy only to Talib al-Ilm, you still may not achieve that. You still may not have a plan or a way of financing and striving in that, that way. But it sounds that you're a young person, so at attain this. Then take your time after that to maybe take some time out and do some Talib al-Ilm or even on your breaks. But try to balance as best as you can, reading a lot. Walillahi alhamd, you have access to uh, so many lectures that are online, so many students of knowledge, so many scholars that have put out material out there that you can read or listen. I know the censorship in China is severe, so I don't know what you have access to. But I will say that you need to strive your best to balance. That is my advice. Uh, if you need more and it is pertinent, then I would advise you to talk to someone you trust who can convey that to the ulama, <clears throat> to one of the, a trusted scholar that you trust, or uh, even uh, f f <clears throat> you're from Chad, no doubt there's ilm there, uh, that there are many, I don't know if it's a second language there, Arabic or what, but that there, I'm sure there are many there's a tradition of knowledge there. So I would also seek to get uh, uh, a fatwa or more uh, detail about your particular situation uh, to, to do that which is best. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.